Hello everyone and welcome to Plus Equal. Today I will be introducing you to the variables inside Unity, or even better, inside C Sharp. And my objective is for you to understand what what's a variable is and how to use it, how to create it. So let's begin. I'm here inside Unity and I will be using a script that I prepared for the next tutorial. I will open up this script and tell you about variables right now. So if you check for the definition of variable, you will see that it's something that is able to be changed or adapt, for example. And in C Sharp we have uh, some kind of variables. So we usually say that uh, the variable have some type. For example, I can create an int for a round number, like imagine like 5. I can create a float, for example, for decimal values, like 5, but now dot 7, for example. I can create a string and this will be attached to some text. I can use a boolean, bool, and this will mean if something is true or false, and so on. We have a lot of variables, uh, each variable has its own type, that's important to know. But what's important to remember is that the variables hold some values inside. So the int number, for example, could be 5. The float decimal number could be a 5.7f because it's a float, it's a decimal number, it needs this extension to the number itself. Uh, we could have a string text and it would be something like Hello friend. Or you could have something like a boolean, it's a true or false. Bool are you subscriber it should be true for example <laughs> what is really important here for you to know it's not this we will talk about each one of these types in its own video but remember that every variable held a value inside so you can manipulate this information at any time or you can refer to this information so I could use this in code and I will refer it to number I will not need to write 5 again and if I want to change it I could change it here on top of the code and I don't need to go down there when you have like 1000 lines of code 2000 lines of code and look for the number to change in the code you can change it up here because these variables usually stay at top so they are a lot easier for you to access and modify at any time you can even use like in the previous tutorial the serialized field and make the keep this private and see it in the inspector this is possible so let's create a comment here how to create variables and you need the type of the variable I will do some let's do close this off then you need the name of the variable then you add the equal sign then you add the value or data that you want to save and finally the semicolon so that's it for the introduction to the variables in the next tutorial we will be talking about the float and we will use it to move uh, the, this cube here inside unity anyway thank you a lot for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial see you there